Okay, so good morning everyone. So welcome to Bread and Peace Reproduction, Grade 8. So we are now in Module 3, Week 5, Specification of Tools. So I am Miss Mary Ann Fonte, your teacher for today. Okay, so before we start our new lesson, let us check first what you have already known. So let's have a pretest. Choose the letter of the best answer. Number 1. It is helpful for peeling fruits and vegetables. It is helpful for peeling fruits and vegetables. A. Paring knife. B. Serrated knife. C. Chef's knife. What do you think is the answer here in number 1? Okay, so the answer is letter A. Very good. Next. Number two, it is important for determining the correct amount of dry or wet ingredients. It is important for determining the correct amount of dry or wet ingredients. A. Knife. B. Whisk. C. Measuring spoon. The correct answer is letter C. Okay, measuring spoon. Okay, next, number three. It is used for turning food. It is used for turning food. Is it A, spatula, B, tongue, C, whisk? What do you think is the answer? Okay, so the answer is letter B, tongue. Next, number four. A type of measuring cup that is easy to read when measuring liquids. A type of measuring cup that is easy to read when measuring liquid. A. Angled measuring cup. B. Whisk. C. Measuring spoon. So the correct answer is letter A. Angled measuring cup. Okay, next, number five, it will assure the proper temperature for food safety. It will assure the proper temperature for food safety. A, thermometer. B, tongue. C, meat temperature. So the correct answer in number five is letter C, meat temperature. Next, number six, it is used to mash potato. It is used to mash potato. Is it A, peeler, B, potato masher, C, grater? The correct answer is letter B. Okay, very good. Okay, let us now proceed to our topic this morning, which is all about specification of tools. Okay, so the first tool that we have is the knives. So sharp, quality knives are important in our kitchen. They cut better and they're easier to work with than dull knives. Select knives that are light, comfortable, and balanced in your hand. It is necessary to have the following knives in your kitchen. Okay, so the first knife that we have is the paring knife. We also have the serrated knife and the chef's knife. So paring knife is helpful for peeling fruits and vegetables, while serrated knife is ideal for cutting bread, and the chef's knife is useful for most cutting and chopping jobs. Okay, so the next tool that we have is the cutting boards. Always keep your countertops clean and scratch free. It is important to have a separate cutting boards for meat and vegetables to prevent germs and cross contamination. Next is the measuring spoon and the measuring cup. So, measuring spoon. Measuring spoon, it is also important for determining the correct amount of dry or wet ingredients. Measuring cups is a necessity in the kitchen and the various sizes which come in glass, metal, or plastic. An angled measuring cup is easy to read when measuring liquids. 
Next is the spoons and whisk. Long-handled wooden or plastic spoons are necessary for mixing and stirring. Other useful spoons are slotted spoons for draining, ladles for serving soups and gravies, and pasta spoons for keeping pasta separated. Whisk are useful tools for mixing sauces, pancake butter, and whipping egg whites. An electric hand mixer is important for mixing cakes and whipping potatoes. Okay, so next is the tongs and spatulas. Tongs are useful for many jobs, including toining food and come in a variety of sizes. Spatulas come in different materials like metal or plastic and their purpose is to slide under food like burgers, cookies, or pancakes. Okay, mixing bowls. Mixing bowls are essential in every kitchen. A variety of sizes is useful for mixing ingredients and for serving food. These come in many colors and materials from stainless steel to plastic or colored glass. Okay, so next is the colander. You need to have at least one colander for draining liquid from kind or cooked vegetables and pasta. Use it for washing fresh fruits and vegetables. It's a good idea to select a colander with stand so it doesn't sit in the liquid which is draining in the sink. Next is the miscellaneous tools. So number one, we have the potato masher. So potato masher is used to mash potato. The next one is we have the grater. So the grater helps for shredding, shaving, and seasoning ingredients. And then we also have the vegetable peeler. So vegetable peeler used to peel fruits and vegetables. Okay, another miscellaneous tools is we have the meat thermometer. So meat thermometer will assure the proper temperature for food safety. And then the kitchen timer, which is used to monitor the cooking time. And then the bottle opener. Bottle opener is used to open bottles. Okay, so again, let's have an activity. Write through if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number one, bottle opener is used to open canned foods. Bottle opener is used to open canned foods. Is it true or false? So the answer is false. So of course, bottle opener is used to open bottles. Next, number two. Kitchen timer is used to monitor cooking time. Kitchen timer is used to monitor cooking time. So, is it true or false? So, the answer is true. Next, number three, a grater helps for shredding, shaving, and seasoning ingredients. A grater helps for shredding, shaving, and seasoning ingredients. So, the correct answer is true. Next, number four, mixing bowls is not used for mixing and serving. Mixing bowls is not used for mixing and serving. So the answer is false. Mixing bowls is used for mixing and serving. Number five, an angled measuring cup is easy to read when measuring liquids. An angled measuring cup is easy to read when measuring liquids. Is it true or false? So the answer is true. Okay, so that's all for specification of tools. So thank you and God bless everyone.